Hey, John here, real quick. I wanted to make this process a lot quicker so you don't waste your whole day doing it. We all have more important things to do in our day. After the last video, most people were discouraged about watching the video thinking it would take too much time and be too difficult. Well, I'm going to dispel those thoughts and show you that you can knock this out in less than two hours and with limited space. So watch this video, don't be intimidated, and knock this project out of the park with great results. So let's get cutting. I have five chairs to do, so I went and bought two yards of navy blue outdoor material for $40. The first thing you need to do is measure the distance between the two slots. Make sure you do this on the upper portion of the chair because the lower portion collapses once the chair is taken apart. Next, take the fiberglass rod that held the previous material in place and measure it. Before you begin, try to ensure that the rod is as straight as possible before you take your measurement. Those are all the measurements you will need to complete this job. Let's start the clock. Turn the material on its side and we will begin by folding over one edge. Ensure that the very end is turned back under the fold. Now clamp it down. If you don't have small spring clamps, clothes pins or even bag clips will work here. The ones I am using are cheap and go for about 48 cents each at Home Depot. I doubt you will need more than about 10 of these to complete the entire project. Once I have my material folded and clamped, I simply sew it into place. Lay out your tape measure directly onto the material and extend it the distance of your rod measurement from earlier. Fold the end of the material over to that measurement. Remember to tuck a little underneath the fold so you have no loose end. Repeat clamping the material in place and then take it to the sewing machine. Repeat the process of taking one side and folding and clamping down. Ensure you tuck the end back under so you have no loose end. I used a total of seven clamps here, so my earlier guesstimation of no more than 10 clamps to finish this project still holds true. Take it to the sewing machine and sew into place. Remove the clamps as you go. This material is very easy to sew. It is very porous and offers little resistance, so make sure you have your bobbin tension set appropriately according to your sewing machine. Check your backside, which will be visible once we install the fabric. If you need to tighten your seams up a bit, make sure you identify this before you move on. Now to the last seam. Lay your tape measure directly onto your fabric. Now take your groove to groove measurement from earlier and measure across the fabric. Don't measure seam to seam. Measure from the edge to the new fold. Leave your tape measure in place and fold the fabric over the end of your tape measure. Then clamp. The loop of the tape measure will give you the quarter inch needed to fit your rod. This will also ensure your fabric is tight. It's from rod to rod that makes it tight, not from seam to seam. So again, measure the edge to the other side exactly and fold over your tape measure. Clamp into position, then trim away to still allow you to tuck the excess under before you sew. When all is clamped with the tuck underneath, take it to the sewing machine. Believe it or not, all of that was the easy part. Most of the comments that I receive are about getting the fabric back onto the chair. I'm not going to deny that this is where it gets difficult, but if your measurements are from rod to rod, you will be able to do this next step with just the assistance of a clamp. Take your rods and feed them into the fabric first. If you have any burrs on the ends, file them down with a file so they don't snag on the material when feeding them through. Work the fabric with the rods through the chair grooves evenly. If your rods get ahead of your fabric, simply take a screwdriver, put it in the groove and push them back even with the fabric. When you start getting close to the top, this will get harder. Find a clamp and clamp the frame down to keep it from moving. Keep pushing or pulling the material until it is at the top of the chair. Now, simply put your chair back together. You might need to place it on its side so you can stand on it to stretch the fabric so you can get the screws to align. Once your center screws are in, the others are much easier. So that's one chair down. Okay, that one took me a total of 25 minutes. 
having never done it this style before, I think that's still really good. We will chalk that one up to the learning curve. But now that I have the process down, let's see if I can break 20 minutes. Okay, start the clock. Following the exact same steps, and this time knowing what you're doing, you can pull this off in just under 20 minutes. No, this does not include putting the fabric back on the frame, but it is a huge improvement over the previous video where we measured out every line and every cut to ensure a perfect fit for each chair. That process took 45 minutes to an hour for each chair, close to five hours. At least now, I have a process that I can perfect and probably even improve on. So, following these steps, you should be able to knock out five chairs in just under two hours. As always, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, click the notifications, and we'll see you on the next project.